we want to speak about how does a man view a woman, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Because we're, we're living together on this earth, right? No one's coming from Mars, no one coming from Venus. God created both man and woman on earth. <laughs> so we live with each other. We're like 50, 50%, I'm guessing. So mm -hmm. you're living with around 4 billion people yep. that are females, yep. right? And modern masculinity obviously have a certain perspective of how women think, yeah. what yeah. they do with their bodies, and how these masculine men, right, red pill, mm -hmm. would should treat their women. Yeah. Yeah. So the red pill men, what they've done is they're regressing back to about like the 1960s and 1970s, mm. the way that men viewed women, the way that they lived their lives um, with a few different alterations. And they've kind of repackaged it a little, but they're looking at how were men then and how can we go back to that? It's not the best time to go back to though. You know, if you look at the 50s, 60s, 70s, you know, the men who were wife beaters and, you know, they dominated and oppressed their wives rather than look at them as, you know, a companion. So um, when we look at the red pill men and the way that they view women, they view them as objects rather than companions you know we they look at this woman and they say you're not really here to impart any wisdom in my life you're not really here to to help and support me in our mission in this life you're here just to serve just True. to do what i told you to do and that's it yeah yeah so it's the idea that i'm having you in my life to benefit myself to, yeah, yeah and when you look at the teachings of the Bible speaks about how we are ought to serve one another. Mm -hmm. So serving, for example, in a relationship or in marriage is not a one way traffic. No, absolutely not. It's both ways. So I get to serve and love my wife as well as my wife get to serve me yeah. and love me. Yeah. And we're going to get to also Ephesians 5 speaking about submission. Yeah. And obviously there is a bit of a difference between submission and, and, and yeah. service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this whole idea that I get home, my wife is ready, there's a beer in my hand, there's a sandwich in my hand, mm -hmm. and the house is clean, and that is a sign of a successful marriage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When when you see that kind of perspective, you think, how low of an IQ do, do you have for, for you to see that as as a marriage that could last yeah. Yeah. the next 50 years? Yeah, because... Or, you, yeah. or being spiritually one, right? You look at the book of Genesis... Adam says, you know, a man shall leave his father and mother and become mm -hmm. one with his wife. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How could you be spiritually one yeah. Yeah. if the only thing that you're getting out of your partner is yes. what you could get from yeah. an empl employee, right? Yeah, with just the addition of sex and that's it. So you got yeah. food and sex and yeah. then that's it. And True. that's not the way to view a human being who's made in the image of God. Yeah. And this is where we're always going back to Genesis chapter one. We go back to the design of marriage and the design of a man and a woman and the way that they're both made in the image of God to complement one another. Yeah. You know, I was going to bring it up since yeah. we were speaking about Ephesians five. Mm -hmm. Um, I could say Ephesians five, I believe it's 22. Yeah. Wives submit to your husbands and a lot of Christians that fell into this red pill movement, they use this passage. To try and justify that movement yeah and yeah but they obviously mm. they they distort the message you yeah know? And, and we both we believe that this is biblical and we believe that wives are to submit to their husbands mm -hmm. the husband is the head of of his wife yeah. of his family yeah. there's no disagreement of that but let's not take the text further than what it intends mm. right and this is what the text continues to be saying wives submit to your to your own husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, as also Christ is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Therefore, just as the church is subject to Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, and, and this is what we wanna talk as well about. Um, husbands, love your wives just as Christ also loved the church, and gave himself to her. Take that so, red pill, man. Yeah, so <laughs> that, that kind of goes against 
the the red woman that he might sanctify and cleanse her with the washing of water by the word that he might present her to himself a glorious church not having a spot or wrinkle or any such thing but that she should be holy and without blemish so husbands ought to love their own wives as their own body he who he who loves his wife loves himself amen yeah amen. So, so the idea that if you're if you actually love yourself you gotta love your wife mm -hmm. because the same way that a man and this is this is the hypocrisy of the red pill spend say as you were saying six seven hours taking care of your body taking care of your mi mm -hmm. mind so what are you doing you're loving your body right so if you're gonna spend that much time to love your body yeah the bible is saying that you love your wife as you love your body right yeah because who, who's gonna hate their body no one everyone's gonna want the best for their body mm -hmm.